The very first video game that I worked on that was released was a, uh, a flight simulator. It was only the second ever real-time 3D game for the video game console, the Sega Genesis. Uh, and so my uh, career feels fortunate because it has this deep connection to the world of real-time 3D, which of course is so important for virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. Um, uh, the second and third and fourth games that I worked on were 2D games. Uh, they were games uh, that were flat. Um, but uh, very soon in my career, I got back to work on 3D. And so for me, there's always been a, a deep kind of uh, craft-based connection between the world of video games and the opening up possibilities of the world of VR as we had to work out how to arrange vertices uh, to create uh, good-looking uh, 3D models that were artistic, even though we were working under tight constraints of processing power, um, having to work with texture maps, bump maps, parallax maps, uh, having to think about um, camera fields of view and uh, issues of perspective, uh, all of these um, fundamental things, which are, of course, ancient parts of human creative practice, uh, stretching certainly back to the Renaissance, but even further, are all very interesting to me, and I think that's why, as a video game designer, I do and always have felt very connected to the world of virtual reality.